Hey guys, what's going on? This is Tyler, pharmacist with Pharmacy Update, and today I wanted to discuss the results of a recently published study that was conducted in Europe. In this study, they looked to compare people who took their blood pressure medications in the morning versus people who took them at bedtime. And in this particular study, they did find that one of these groups had better outcomes. So if you or someone you know takes blood pressure medication, this information might be helpful to you. And this will just be a quick video today. I'm going to cover some background information on the study, what the results were, and at the end of the video I will have a discussion on the implications of this study and how they might affect you. So without further ado, let's get into it. First here, I just want to give a little background information on this topic. Previous studies before this one have shown that the time a patient takes their blood pressure medication can have an effect on what their long-term outcomes can look like. And this is the difference between taking your meds in the morning versus at bedtime. And when I say long-term outcomes, I'm referring to your risk of developing cardiovascular disease, such as heart attack, heart failure, stroke, among other things. So when you take your blood pressure medicine, it's not always necessarily to help you out today. It is more about the long-term complications of always having high blood pressure that we are worried about. If you chronically have a blood pressure that is higher than normal, that is going to increase your risk of having a cardiovascular complication, like I mentioned. So that is what we are trying to prevent, or delay at least. There is also some evidence out there that has shown that your blood pressure while sleeping is a better indicator of your future CVD risk when compared to a reading you may take during the day or at a doctor's office visit. And like I already discussed, a very interesting study was just recently published here in October of 2019, and it was published in the European Heart Journal. And again, they compared taking your blood pressure medications in the morning versus at bedtime, and they had some interesting results. Just a little overview of the study here. This study is the Hygieia, I hope I'm saying that right, chronotherapy trial and it followed 19,084 hypertensive patients. So they did have a pretty high number of people in this study. The patients in this trial were assigned to two different groups. The first group took their blood pressure medications in the morning, and the second group took their medications at bedtime. The primary endpoint, or what the authors were looking for, was which group, if any, had less of these CBD events during the trial period. And again, when I say CVD events, I'm meaning heart attacks, strokes, etc. And the median patient follow-up time period was 6.3 years. I would have personally liked to have seen a little bit longer time frame, but I know that is a difficult thing to do. They followed these patients for around 6 years. Okay, now on to the good stuff, the results. So during the trial... 1,752 people out of the 19,000 or so studied did have a CVD event. And what they found was the group of patients taking their blood pressure medications at bedtime had better outcomes. And this was in every single category that they studied. For all CVD events, the hazard ratio for the bedtime group was 0.55. And what this means basically is that on average, People who took their blood pressure medications at night had a 45% less chance of having a CVD event. To get to the 45%, you just take the difference between the number 1 and the hazard ratio, and then you times it by 100. So in this case, the difference between 0.55 and 1 is 0.45, and then you multiply that by 100, and that gives you 45%. So that is a very good outcome. For the 95% confidence intervals, uh, they were 0.5 to 0.61. And what this means is that if they conducted a whole new study using a whole different group of people, they believe that 95% of the time, the hazard ratio will fall somewhere within this range. And just as an aside, if the 95% confidence interval crosses the number one, you cannot say that your results are statistically significant. You can't really say that there is a difference in the groups if this happens. But in this case, it did not cross one, so the results are valid. So again, according to the results of this one study, taking your blood pressure medications at bedtime decreases your risk of having a CVD event by 45%.
And again, they did better in every single category. They had a 0.44 hazard ratio for CVD death. So that is really good. That translates to a 66% decrease in CVD death if you take your meds at bedtime. And you can see the 95% confidence intervals there. Uh, they had 0.66 hazard ratio for heart attack. So not quite as good, but still an improvement. 0.6 hazard ratio for coronary revascularization, which this just means if an artery in your heart or your coronary artery gets blocked, uh, they do this to clear out that blockage. So a 40% reduced chance in that category. 0.58 hazard ratio for heart failure. Again, you can see the 95% confidence intervals there. And finally, a 0.51 hazard ratio for stroke, which is yet another impressive result. Now just a little discussion about this study. So you might think, wow, I need to immediately start taking my blood pressure medicine at bedtime. And while that might be a good idea, it is not yet a for certain thing. This was just one study looking at around 19,000 people in Europe. There are billions of people in the world. So does this one study show for a matter of fact that it is better to take your blood pressure medicine at bedtime? I don't think so. Also, in these types of studies, they can only show a correlation between things, not causation. So basically, you cannot say for certain that it was the people taking their blood pressure medicines at bedtime that caused these improvements. The only thing that you can say pertaining to the results of this study is that there is a correlation between taking your meds at bedtime and having better long-term CBD outcomes. <clears throat> So this study is a very good start, but honestly, we need to have more studies, preferably with more people and over a longer period of time, to validate these results. And even with that, you might say that the results of this study alone are enough for me. I'm going to switch and start taking my blood pressure medication at bedtime instead of in the morning. And that might be a good idea, but just make sure you always speak to your doctor or your pharmacist first before making any changes to your medication regimen. Another thing I should mention is that this study only included people who were taking two or more medications for hypertension. So this study really has no saying for people who just take one. However, if you speak with your doctor or pharmacist about switching to taking your medications at bedtime and they give you the okay, I do have a tip for you. When you get out of bed in the morning, just rise slowly to give time for your blood to get to your brain. If you take a medication that lowers your blood pressure, it might take longer than normal for your blood to fight gravity and get up to your brain. If you get out of bed too quickly, there is a chance that you might actually pass out. So just take that extra time getting out of bed in the morning. And my last point here, do whatever works for you when it comes to taking your medication. If you have a routine that you have followed for years, let's say you've, for years you've been waking up and taking your medications in the morning, and it is now a habit, you might just be better off sticking with that. If you start taking your medicine at night, so you no longer are doing it out of habit, you might actually forget to take it unless you consciously think about it. So whatever fits your personal routine, just make sure you are taking your blood pressure medicine every day, of course, unless your doctor directs you otherwise. Well, that's all I have for today, guys. I wanna thank you for watching. If you felt like this video was educational or it helped you in any way, I would appreciate a like. Also, please subscribe to my channel for the latest pharmacy and medical updates, and I also post drug reviews. So thank you guys again, and have a great day.